Modular Organization What is modular organization? Modular organization focuses around two major points. The first is modularity, and the second is outsourcing. The first focus of modular organization is its modules. The organization is broken down into small compact modules. This means that the organization focuses on developing specialized and relatively autonomous strategic business units. While the interdependencies between these modules or strategic business units tend to be weak, it allows their flexibility to be extremely high. Product systems are deemed modular when they can be broken down into a number of components that can be mixed and matched to connect, interact, or exchange resources. This allows the structure to be extremely flexible. This organizational structure also outsources parts of a product. This might sound similar to the network structure, which outsources the processes, but the modular structure only outsources a few parts of the product, except for the core activities that a company can perform better, faster, and cheaper than others. A modular company will outsource all remaining business activities to outside companies, specialists, or consultants. This means that the outsourced activities can be added or dropped as needed, allowing for flexibility. Here is an example of modular organization used at GNU Health. This model involves the existence of various consumer services which cater to dramatically different needs or demographics. At GNU Health, the surgery unit may interact with different departments at different times for different reasons. Another example would be a software company that is creating a product but outsources the integration portion of that project because it'll be faster or cheaper to do so. There are two major advantages to modular organization. The first and main advantage is the emphasis on outsourcing non-core company needs. An example of this is advertising for Microsoft. Being a tech company, one of their main focuses is making high quality computers. Other factors, like how to promote their newest computer and how to distribute that out to customers is a lesser focus. So they can hire other companies to do that for them. Other organizational structures do the same thing, but the difference is that modular organization emphasizes outsourcing product components as well, not just needed logistics and services. The major benefit to this is the ability to focus on what the company is best at, leaving other necessities of their products to what other companies are best at. In the end, this will result in higher quality products because of their higher quality components. For example, if you have a standard laptop from Lenovo, there is a good chance that laptop's core processor is actually from Intel and its speaker system might be from Dolby. Lenovo and other companies outsource certain components of their products to more specialized companies like Intel and Dolby so they can focus their core efforts on what they themselves specialize in, which is ultimately the main selling point for their products. Doing this allows for intense focus on what makes their products unique and desirable without lowering the quality of their products other needed necessities due to lack of effort. Outsourcing also ties into the second major advantage, being flexibility. Because modular organization emphasizes outsourcing non-focused product components, the company has a lot of freedom and flexibility to choose what specific outsourced components will enhance the quality of their products instead of merely choosing a company just to choose one and move on. This can involve switching between different outsourced providers based on the company's specific needs and wants, and the outsource transition is made a lot easier with that module structure. This allows for creating and eliminating internal modules with ease based on those same needs.
Hello classmates, my name is Kayla and I'm going to be talking about the disadvantages to modular organization. So the difference between using modular and not is between having one group and outsourcing to others for specific parts. Um, in a gist, it's flexibility versus tightly coupled structures. So businesses end up having to decide, do we want to uh, export certain items or import certain items for what we are building, what we are making, or do we need tight control over everything? Do we need everything close by? Are we going to need these parts for long periods of time? Or is it something we're going to use for one version of our product and we don't know if we're going to use it next time? Uh, there's also thoughts of things like security. So, for example, when Sony had exported or had given their designs to China to build their controllers for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, they're almost always uh, released online with hints or tips or um, some kind of a leak on what it's going to look like, or pictures even. So that, my uh, educated guess, would be coming from a modular organization because it was cheaper for them to outsource it than to build a plant, buy a plant, and make the production themselves. So is that something that the business is willing to risk? So they really need to have these discussions and way which is more important is it going to be worth more to the business to be flexible in maintaining this relationship with another company or is it better for the company to just build it themselves and pay it now and reap the benefits over time so the question remains when should a business use modular organ organization the first point that I came up with was that when there are many clients with many different needs. So let's look at a bicycle shop. A bicycle shop, you go in, maybe the first thing you think about is the fact that they sell bikes. Okay, well, they have a sales department. Now, let's say you buy a bike from them and a couple of weeks later, you're going mountain biking and you, you get a flat tire. Who are you, are you gonna take it back to that bicycle shop? So you take it back to the bicycle shop, they also have a repair department. Well, those are multiple different departments that the bicycle shop has. They're going to have other departments as well in order to keep their business actually running. But in order to satisfy their customers, they have those two different departments. The next reason why you should modularize your business is if your business is growing beyond your own management capabilities. If you are not an expert in accounting, an expert in advertising, an expert in bicycle repairs, now those sorts of things, then you may need to um, you may need to either outsource that or have somebody else head up that department. For instance, my father-in-law runs an online continuing education course. He doesn't know anything about videography, but my wife, his daughter, um, has studied videography in school, and she's um, and she's she's a little bit of, she's kind of an expert on it, and she's done an, a fantastic job. And he's kind of given that over to her. She's kind of the head of his production department now. So she videos and edits the videos and she'll she'll take videos of his lectures and video other doctors lectures and she'll edit those for the for the course. So if if you don't know much about certain de certain departments that your business needs, then you can have somebody else in your department in, in your company uh, uh, organize that. Now, the next section is kind of tied in with the last if you need to or should outsource departments. So let's say you don't know a lot about accounting, like my father-in-law didn't. He tried to do accounting when he started his business. He ended up outsourcing it because he didn't know anybody else who could do it efficiently that he could hire on full-time to be part of his company. So instead, he, he outsourced it to another company that specializes in accounting for multiple other companies. So for that reason, if you have inefficient departments in your company and you think, hey, well, actually, I can dissolve that department and hire or outsource another company to do this for me because they're specialized in it. They're really good at it. That will improve your efficiency and make your company better. Um, so to wrap up, 
You want to modularize your business. If one, there are many things your business must be able to do. Remember the bike shop with the repairs and sales department. Two, those things can be done almost entirely independent from one another. You don't have to be, if you're head of sales, you don't also have to know what's going on in repairs. Those two different departments can, can work um, independent from, from one another. Um, and three, if you want to maximize efficiency and are willing to outsource workloads, sometimes your company may not be able to handle every single task that is given to them, or you may not know enough about it, and it may be a better idea to outsource. You know, pay a little bit more to have a company that is incredibly effective at their task do it.